So the Dirty Democrats are at it again. Andrew Cuomo, the uh, sitting governor uh, of New York, is currently getting um, getting ambushed from the left. <laughs> from Cynthia Nixon, the celebrity of the Sex and the City fame, is running for governor, challenging the, the politically connected uh, Cuomo, whose father used to be the governor, Mario, and his brother is the shill number one on CNN, Chris Cuomo. Right? Taking on the Cuomos in New York. So, I'll stick to my prediction. She, she, she can't be allowed to win. No way. Right? So, what, what you're seeing now is the, is the dirty Democrats step in. This is how they're doing it, right? You saw, uh, Tom Perez. He's the DNC chair, right? The appointed DNC chair. The, the, the said to have been elected DNC chair. He wasn't elected. It was the, they had their finger on that scale to, to, to place him in charge of the DNC and wipe out the progressive side. Whatever. That's all stupid politics because it's not even worth fucking arguing anymore because we know it's rich. But I just want to point out how Cynthia Nixon is going to get stabbed in the back because you already see it in play. See, the Democrats, the Democratic Party doesn't just, doesn't, there's not like one guy that comes in and rigs the election. Right? It's one guy they send in the team to go rig the election. No. They're all in on the thumb on the leaning their thumb on the scale, meaning that the pressure flows down, right? The DNC chair says, "We're endorsing Mario uh, Andrew Cuomo for governor of New York. Fuck you." Right? And that that message, so anybody in the in the establishment bowels, right, in the, the mechanics of the Democratic Party, must, must, must say, Cuomo, you can't say Nixon. Nixon is a dirty word now, because the, the power of Tom Perez, the, the leader, has spoken. And you will follow, and you will cheat, and you will rig that election for Andrew Cuomo. Right? And poor Cynthia Nixon. See, when it when when you see the when you see them come out like that, when you see Tom Perez come out like that, what you what it's a it's a sign that Cynthia Nixon is, is the favorite. Right? She's the people's choice. Right? For whatever reason, it doesn't matter. She's she's surging from the left. She's for universal health care and a lot of very, very you know liberal leftist pink pussy hat kind of shit but she's a far she would to, to, to have to knock out a sitting governor a sitting establishment business as usual money grabbing politician like Andrew Cuomo would be a rock star would be a revelation and a half, would be unbelievable, will be amazing, but I will stick to my prediction that Cynthia Nixon will not be allowed to win. Cynthia Nixon, the election's going to be close. It's going to be ooh, razor close. Sorry, sorry, Cynthia. They're going to give you 48. It's going to be real close. It might even be, it might be less because they don't have to win. I, all they have to do is create the, the, the perception that that Cuomo is the favorite. Even if the people show up, right? And they will show up for her. And they're going to get stabbed in the back. Again. So, so, it's, again, it's just, it's. I just wanted to put it on the record that I could see the writing on the wall that the Democratic Party is, is the, the Democratic chairman, who's not supposed to be partial, is supposed to stay out of it. Right? He's supposed to stay out of the nominating process. Right? And not favor one candidate over the other and have a free and fair, unbiased primary. But of course we know that the Democratic primaries are rigged. They're rigged. Right? They're rigged. So Tom Perez will be Tom Perez is the is the rigger. Right? And he's sending out the signal to the to the Democrats across New York that Cynthia Nixon cannot be allowed to win. And she won't be allowed to win. Right? Now, 
having said all that, right, will Cynthia Nixon continue to fight? She's a good fighter, right? She's a progressive, good fighter, right? Will she be? A, will she continue the fight after the, after the Democrats? I'm talking to you, Cynthia Nixon. Will you fight the good fight? Will you continue to fight the good fight after the Democrats stick the knife in your back and steal the election away from you? Will you continue to fight as an independent from June all the way to November 6th, calling out Cuomo, calling out the cheating, fighting, fighting the real fight? They're not going to hand it to you. They're not going to give it to you. No way. No how. You don't win. That's the decision has been made. Now, what will you do with that decision? How will you handle that decision? My name is Marcus Conti, YouTube blogger. Peace.